Welcome to Kaleidoscope is for IG. Let's talk. This is Christina Finucci. She is the president of the Garbage Patch State. The world only recycles 7% of its plastic and by adding this waste to the environment, we have massive garbage patches now as big as the Russian continent. Christina is an architect and artist who has conferred the Grand Officer Merit Order of the Italian Republic. She works through monumental installations across the globe. One such was the Wasteland Cycle on the island of Mosia, made out of 5 million cups in metallic cages. She was in Sri Lanka for the Reba Members Sri Lanka International Conference and I caught up with her to find out more about the state in which she is president of. How did the great idea of declaring the garbage patch an independent state become a reality? Well, I started thinking about that when I read on a magazine that there was an island as big as Texas made of plastic debris. And uh, uh, I realized that the problem was not only that small one relatively, uh, the, the, the size of Texas, but uh, there were five islands made of plastic debris, uh, whose uh, territory, let's say territory, but uh, it, you, you cannot walk on that, uh, the surface, it was, 10 years ago, 6 million square kilometers. Just to give you an idea, Russia is uh, little more than 70 million. So it was really a, a continent. So uh, I realized that it was a no man's land, I made a research, uh, I made a um, constitution, uh, small things like postcards, I made a website, and I've written his history. And uh, at a certain point when the state was, let's say, mature, I went to the UNESCO and declared the independence of the garbage patch state. I am the president of the largest state in the world because by now, after more than 10 years, uh, of course, it has increased and it has um, surpassed the 17 uh, square kilometers and, and more uh, of, of Russia. So, uh, unfortunately, I am the chief of state of the largest state, but I am all also the only chief of state that would like to see its state shrink and disappear eventually. If you look at the problems of plastics, you are actually, it's not just about bottles and plastic cups. It's a much larger problem, isn't it? The problem is the microplastic that is purposely put into creams and uh, products, beauty products, and also uh, the, mm, the, the microplastic, the microfiber that uh, comes from the, when you wash, a synthetic garment uh, and the spin it's spinned off uh, millions and millions of, of microfibers that goes into the oceans and they are all of course invisible and the fishes eat it together with plankton what was your first installation and how did that progress after that the first one was in uh, uh, Paris at the UNESCO headquarters I made, that was the declaration of the state. So I made a big installation uh, where I reproduct um, the, one of the islands. And after that, uh, right immediately, I went to um, Venice uh, at the, um, and I built the, the pavilion at the Binale that I already said. But uh, I have done almost three or two installations, big and gigantic installations. Now what's next for the Great Garbage Patch State? The next installation would be in Yerevan uh, for the Sci Fest and I'm very thrilled because it's a very new installation for me. I, of course there is some um, topic about plastic but also I speak about artificial intelligence uh, because that's another thing that threatens us. That was Christina Fanucci, who is an architect, she's an artist, and she's also the president of the Great Garbage Patch State. Did you know that Kaleidoscope is on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn? And if you like our show, subscribe and follow us for weekly updates.